The trial of Al Jazeera's three journalists jailed in Egypt has been adjourned once again. The judge refused to grant bail to correspondent Peter Graster, producers Mohammed Fahmi and Bahir Mohammed, who have been in jail for more than three months. They are falsely accused of providing a platform for the outlawed Muslim Brotherhood. The prosecution presented new material that it says supports the case against the Al Jazeera team, including this report on child labor in Egypt and this video of a report on the trial of a group of women sentenced for 11 years in jail for taking part in protest in Alexandria against the military-backed government. The women appealed and later got a one-year suspended sentence. Prosecutors also played audio recordings that people in the courtroom were not able to hear. Defense lawyers challenged the prosecution saying most of the material is either unrelated to the charges or is standard TV reporting. Observers closely monitoring the trial say they are concerned. It's dragging on, it's dragged on for four months now. We were told it's a final session uh, for the prosecution to present evidence against the Al Jazeera English journalists. The journalists in the courtroom were shown videos uh, allegedly belonging to three students, um, co-defendants in the case, uh, not working for Al Jazeera. But the sound quality was terrible. No one could make out what was being said. Abdullah Shami, the fourth Al Jazeera journalist in detention, has been held in Egypt for more than nine months and has been on hunger strike since January 21st. His detention was extended by 45 days on March the 13th. The trial of the Al Jazeera journalist has attracted global attention. Advocacy groups and various governments have all condemned the trial. Al Jazeera strongly rejects all the charges and continues to call for their immediate release. Hashim Al Al Jazeera.